Hi, I'm back. So, today I have a little video. Um, well, I'll say this. So, yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I was on YouTube and I was just, you know, watching YouTube as I do. And I came across Megan Ellaby did a video of her trainer collection now. If you know me, you know I love Megan Ellaby. No, I really do. I really like the things that she wears. I look up to her quite a bit. I think that she's a cool gal. And also, I love trainers. So I've been in a little bit of a rut, I would say. I really want to do YouTube videos but I do struggle with knowing what it is that I want to make so I've seen that she did this video and a little a little spark went off my head and I thought come on get yourself into gear you like trainers too <laughs> you like trainers you like videos you're watching this video just do one. So today, inspired by Megan Ellaby, I'm going to do a trainer collection and then I'm gonna put in a little bit of how I personally wear these shoes. Now, I haven't got an extensive collection and they're not like groundbreaking trainers. They're pretty simple, but it's what I like to wear and I just thought that it would be quite nice to show you what it is that I wear and how I wear them. So, um, the love affair, oh, I, I don't know how I was going to do it, I might do it by actual order that I got them, nah, nah, maybe, we'll just see how I feel. So the love affair really, really, truly began in January I would say, um, and then since then, me little collections just been growing, been growing and growing, and I've just been popular there. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the shoes, and then I'm going to put up a little photo of how I wear them, and then talk about it a little bit, maybe, just so you can see, maybe to give you some inspiration. Because um, it's personally how I like like branch out and and discover new things is by like looking at other people on YouTube and Instagram and stuff. So yes, that's what I'm gonna do. So the first shoes I'm gonna begin with are my Adidas Stan Smiths. Now I got these a while ago and I really like them. I like they've got a little silver here and then the little look, the Adidas on the tongues silver as well. And they have little polka dots. I got these in the sale and they didn't have my size, they had the half a size up, so they were seven and a half. I am a size seven feet because I have massive clown feet and we'll not talk about it. So these shoes I got and from the offset I wrecked them. I just did not care, like I, I I was wearing them on nights out, I was wearing them everywhere and so they've been through the washing machine now and they're like squeaky and um, yeah so these aren't my absolute faves but I don't know I can't bring myself to get rid of them I can't bring myself to throw them out I think they're good um, they're like the only like white leather like sp like like kid like I don't know how I describe them like like a PE shoe like when you're like a little kid and you did PE like the only ones like that that I have um, maybe I'll replace them with because I do I do like a Stan Smith but maybe I'll replace them with a different pair that fit better or a pair that aren't so wrecked I did actually see a pair yesterday in Foot Locker that had pink and red um, bits where the, this one's silver which I think is quite cool so yes that's my Stan Smith so the next shoes are the most recent purchase and they're these Adidas and Pharrell like slip-on shoes these are the only shoes of this style that I have with like the slip-on thing I was 
mega after some Yeezys. The most recent butter Yeezys I literally tried for like three hours on JD and on size and on Foot Locker to no look. So these are a similar style to the Yeezys, like this relaxed style, but they're the Pharrell ones. Um, bloody hell! Do I want to get any more text? So, um, yes, they're just the white ones with the pink um, little tag and then the pink on the back here. And um, that also has pink right on the ends of the laces, which I think is quite good and cute. Um, I really think these are mega, mega comfy, but I haven't actually worn them in any other respect than like chucking them on. So I put a little photo of how I've been wearing them, literally with leggings and a like jumper or something. I, they seem to have just taken the stance of like, oh, I need to go to the shop or I need to like go in the car quickly and I'll just like put these on which is a shame because I think they're a really good shoe but I think I need to like have a little think of how to wear them. I have worn them a few times with jeans but like I say the majority of the time I've worn them has been like in the photo that I showed. So yeah they are nice and comfy though. It has this human and it's like the element on the... Uh, I got told this, <laughs> it has the element um, like on the periodic table and uh, but it says HE which I presume means human. Um, yeah, so I do like these shoes a lot. I need to like have a think about how I can like wear them with the clothes that I own. That isn't gym leggings at all. <laughs> yeah, so I seem to be going by brand. And the next brand that I'm going to talk about is Converse. Now, I personally have a long love story with Converse. My email address when I was like nine, like you know that first email address you have, was Converse Cool. So that, I've had about 15... Are you laughing at me? Nah, I thought someone was outside laughing at me. So I've had like, I would say between 15 and 20 pairs of Converse in my lifetime. They just are like a go-to classic shoe for me. I've had the high tops, I've had the low tops in like many different colours. The, yeah, there's always at least one pair of Converse, I think, in my life at any one time. So, I'm gonna talk about them. The first ones that I have are just your classic plain black high top. Now these are not very like inspiring, they're not like out of the box but these I think are like a timeless classic. I think you can wear these with so much. I think they look so good with skirts and with jeans and with whatever the bloody hell you want. Um, yeah they're just, I had the low top in black and at the time I bought them, I wanted the high top, but it was like summer or something stupid and I didn't get them. So I was wearing the low tops and I was like, these are shit. So yeah, I'm so glad I got these. I got these for Christmas. I have mainly been wearing them. I wore them a lot earlier in the year, um, mainly with um, jeans or if I'm going on a night out, I would wear them with like a dress and then like so I would wear them with like a dress and then a colourful jacket so like I've got like a few little colourful jackets so like my yellows are a jacket and like bright earrings or like different accessories to like complement them I think so yeah I really like these I think they are you can't you just can't go wrong I just really don't think you can go wrong with them even if you're wearing them with bloody, I don't even know man, I, I don't even know, jeans, jeans, how many times can a girl say jeans, so many times, um, yeah, just your classic converse, high top, lush, absolutely lush, the next pair are again 
a pair of Converse and they are the One Star, the One Stars in like the new style One Stars in um, pink. So if you'd said to me a few years ago, or literally even in like January, like a Converse One Star, you'd think of the ones with the arrows, which are a bit shit, I think. But then these came out, and I don't know what where it came from. Um, but they came out, and then I I really 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 like them actually. Like they they like I think it's a it's a more classic style. It's quite like a seven like it's got the seventies soul like the new, like the seventies Converse that have come out. So it's got like the seventies soul, and it hasn't got that shit arrow on it. And they've got it. They've got them in such nice colours. I like the green. I like the blue. I do like the black ones, to be honest with you. And also, I think they're they're very similar to the Tyler the Creator ones that have come out, which are also quite cool. Um, but I like these pink ones, and I have been wearing these since I've got them really like non-stop. They go with so much that I have. I'm gonna insert some photos. So I've been wearing them a lot with jeans and skirts. Like I have a coat, like a spotty coat that I wore them with that I really, really like them with. And I think that because they're this colour, and I like, I, 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 there's something in them. It's <laughs> tempting in them. Balling. Um, and because, right, because uh, there is a bit of a running pink theme, but because I have so many like bright colours, they really complement that. And then also, if I'm not wearing something mega bright, um, they like bring it out because they're like such a nice pink. So yeah, I really really like these shoes. I think they are good. They're like comfy. They're really quite spongy underneath. Um, but like all Converse, are. they don't rub because they're not high top. So that's good. They've got like a leather lining. They're just a good quality shoe, to be honest with you. They're just a bloody good quality shoe. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, everyone. So the next one, the next, the next pair. You've heard me talk about in depth before if you watch my New York call. Which, if you haven't, you should. Self promo. Um, so, it is my Comme de Garçons Converse. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole rigmarole of how long I wanted them for and everything. Like, even though quite a few people have them, I do think that they're a statement shoe. It's got a bloody face on, for God's sake. Like, it is a bit of a statement. Um, so I didn't know what to wear them with, and I think with items like that, where, you, where you're not sure what to wear them with, it takes a little while for you to get in the, in the feel. Like, it took me, like, a few times of, like, meticulously planning what I was going to wear them with, and then I would start to just, like, put them on. Do you know what I mean? So I would, like, really plan what I'd wear them with. And then as I wore them, I like grew more into them. I know this, I'm literally talking about a pair of shoes, but like it makes sense to me. And so, yeah, with with these, I gradually have got more and more wear out of them. They've been so nice in the summer. Like I've worn them with so many different things like skirts and also this little red, like I have quite a few red bits. Like I've got a red denim jacket from Misguided and stuff. And I think like this little red is like just a nice little, and we can like pair them with something else that I'm wearing which is nice and then obviously there's like little red they are like literally the, these are like the most I've invested in a shoe like the most money like I don't often buy anything like mega expensive so this is yeah I'm glad I got these these are I still feel the same about them as when I first got them and I talked about them for 10 minutes in that video so yes <laughs> The next shoes that I'm going to talk about is another like popular brand and the I have two yeah yeah little up first the first ones are <laughs> these checkerboard vans now I got these in New York as well so you heard me talk about them in that if you watched it and um 
yeah, they are, they are just good. I like them. I think they bring a bit of vibrancy. If you're wearing like block colours, I think they can really like make your outfit a bit, a bit cooler. And they they are a bit battered up now, which is fine. I don't mind it at all. I've been wearing them with um, just everything. I wore them on a few nights out because I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't wear anything that isn't trainers to be honest. So when I go on a night out, I just put trainers on. I wear them a lot with trousers. I have like trousers with stripes on that I wear them with. I'll put a picture in. And just like, yeah, like if I'm wearing like block colours, I think it's like a nice little pattern to put in. So yeah, just t-shirts and, and stuff like that, they're, they're really good with. Um, they're just a classic shoe, to be honest with you. To be bloody honest with you, what more can you say other than that? Not a lot. So. So the next shoe is really a rare shoe that no one's ever worn or bought. I joke. I joke because everyone has them. I just recently got these, like last month. And I wanted them. I wanted them for ages and ages. And then, I'm going to be honest, everyone got them. And I was like, oh, for God's sake, everyone's got them and I want them and I'm not getting them. So I wanted them so bad and I didn't know how to wear them that wasn't the way everyone wears them. I don't, I don't mean to come across like, I think I'm like really cool. But I don't know, there's a lot of like... 13 year old girls that have them and boys that have them and wear them all the same way and I didn't want to look like that I, I wanted to wear them in a way that was like like my own so the Anna edit put a few photos on Instagram of her and these and I was like you know what she looks cool and grown up and like I can bloody do it so I think for me although they're easy to style I find them quite hard to style to avoid looking like everyone else. So basically I've just done it with like white jean culottes and stuff like that where I feel like a little bit, like it's a little bit like ooh, but it's not too crazy. Like I'm not literally like like wearing that massive pink fluffy thing that I have. But um, yeah, I, I think these are really cool shoes but literally if you go to town there's about I reckon if you were to tally it up and stand and stand in like Eldon Square in Newcastle and tally it up, I reckon it would be for an hour, hundred people. Hundred people wear these shoes, honestly, I bet. So many people have these shoes and I was put off and I, I am glad I got them because I really like them on my feet. But yeah, I think they're quite difficult to wear and not look basic, but I've only got one, have now. So everyone, the last shoes that I have, and the only Nike shoes that I have, although I do have my eye on more. No, oh, I can't stop myself from buying and spending, is these pink Air Force Ones. Now these are my first pair of Air Force Ones. I had um, white ones back in the day when I was, it was probably, tw it was 2013, so they were not in fashion at the time, and I was just, everyone was wearing like Toms, and I was just like stomping about in these Air Force Ones, like, you know what guys. So I really like this shoe, it is comfortable, let me tell you, it is such a comfortable, because I think because obviously the sole's so big, and it's Nike Air, which they are really comfy shoes. Um. They, they are like literally walking on clouds. But I would say, don't pair them with new socks that you just bought out the packet because they're like these ones especially are so slidey inside. One time I was walking down a hill and my feet were like sliding inside the shoes. It was really annoying. So yeah, I love these. They're like suede on the top and then I love this gum sole. Uh, the, the only, yeah. For considering how much I love a gum sole, they're the only shoes with a gum sole that I own. Um. I really love this pink colour, like I'm sure you've noticed a theme in, well, in my clothes and in my shoes that I really love pink things. I wore them with my Levi's, my Levi's um, with quite a straight leg, even I would say they have a slight flair to them. And then this like 90s little top 
um, with like, like not frills, I can't describe it, with like little, <laughs> I'll just insert a photo, in these and I felt like I was in 1995 or like I was in Tracy Beaker, I don't know why, I really felt like that. So I love to wear them with this and also, because they're quite like a muted pink, I really like that. I wear a lot of bright pinks so it's nice to have a little different in it, in my little life I think. Um, and yeah, they're really nice quality, they're suede, they're just a nice shoe to be honest, I would highly recommend an Air Force One. Um, yeah, okay, so that is all my trainers that I'm wearing at the minute, shown and shown how I've been wearing them. Um, I've not really got a lot to say to be honest, it's really bloody hot all the time, I'm sweating, I'm wearing a dad a dad shirt for the, for the air. <laughs> too hot. Yes, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back very soon. Thanks. Bye.